All right, here we go. Question number two from our college algebra, homework number one in my lab math. We have another absolute value equation that they want me to solve for x. Up here in this window, I've got the problem written down. Let's look at how to solve this problem. So the first thing we need to make sure of is that the absolute value part is isolated. And we can see that outside of the absolute value, we have this 12 and the negative that we need to get rid of. So here we are going to have to do a little bit of work at the beginning to isolate the absolute value. All right, here we go. First step is we're going to take the 12 and bring it over. And that'll make it negative 12. And so we'll have negative absolute value. 8x minus 1 equals negative 6. Next step, now we need to get rid of the negative out front. This is an understood negative 1 that's being multiplied by the absolute value. So since it is being multiplied, we need to divide both sides to get rid of it. So dividing both sides by negative 1, that's going to give us the absolute value of 8x minus 1 is positive 6. Now that we have the absolute value isolated, we want to check and make sure that that is equal to a positive number. And here it is equal to positive 6. And so that means that we are going to get to split this in 2. And that means we will get 2 solutions. So 8x minus 1 can be equal to 6. And 8x minus 1 can also be negative 6. And the reason that we split it up into plus and minus 6 is because if you take the absolute value of plus or minus 6, both of those will become positive. And so now we need to solve for x. Bringing the 1 over, negative 1 becomes plus 1. That'll give me a 7. Divide both sides by 8. Our first solution is 7 eighths. On the other equation, bringing the negative 1 over, negative 1 becomes plus 1, gives us negative 5. Divide both sides by 8. Our second and final solution is negative 5 eighths. And let's put that into our MyLab math to see if we're right. We've got 7 eighths, comma, negative 5 eighths. Bam, there you go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.